in. Welcome back. Definitely shaped up to be a nice summer-like day out there, but it didn't start off like that. It almost felt like fall out there this morning. We have to the low, low temperature at Duluth International coming in at 46 degrees. That's 10 degrees below average. And also take a look at our current rainfall deficit situation. Currently looking at a monthly departure just about an inch under where we should be. And say over the last year and a half or say 14 months or so, we're looking at nearly a drought, a deficit of nearly 15 inches of rain. And that's why we are in the situation that we are in across Northland right now, especially off to our north and west, where you see that exceptional drought in place. That is unprecedented territory for the state of Minnesota. Never seen unprecedented drought since the drought monitor has been started in the early 2000s. The rest of us looking at, say, anywhere from severe to extreme drought. And then the uh, UP of Michigan, as well as northwest Wisconsin, they're not half bad right now. They're only in abnormally dry conditions. And the bad news is it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of rain heading our way. And there's no rain for tonight tonight as well, that's for sure. 71 degrees with most of the clear skies out there. Still a tad breezy, though, with that southwest wind in place at 10 miles per hour. And there's really not a whole lot of rain in that forecast either, save for the next few days. The trend of this future cast I'm going to show you is just a whole lot of sun. This way, as we head towards tomorrow and tonight, mostly clear skies. And then as we head towards tomorrow, mostly sunny skies prevail once again. I think we're a few degrees warmer than where we were today for a good majority of us. Again, out to the west could be approaching that 90 degree mark. And that sunshine and that warmth sticks around for the day on Monday as well. Mostly sunny skies. You can even barely even see a cloud on Futurecast as we head towards Monday. And that same trend sticks around for the day on Tuesday as well. So very little clouds to talk about as well as very little rain to talk about. The good news, I guess, is the temperatures are on the way up. They're not going to feel like fall for the day tomorrow. Some people actually really enjoy that fall weather. I know Natalie does. But I'm not ready for fall because that just means winter, I guess. And I'm not ready for winter either quite yet. But tomorrow, temperatures as we're waking up, not quite fall like what we saw like we saw today. We have temperatures in the upper 50s as well as lower to mid 60s. And as we head through the rest of the day, we'll see temperatures gradually climb into the low and mid 80s. As well as out west, probably climbing into the 90 degree mark, for example, Baudette showing 90 degrees for tomorrow's high. The rest of us, low to mid 80s. And that same trend is going to stick around as we head towards Monday, as well as Tuesday with temperatures in the 80s. But first, your forecast for tonight. Forecast falling back, temperatures falling back into the low to mid 50s, as well as uh, lower 60s across the majority of the region. We have partly cloudy skies overhead. Highs for tomorrow climbing into the upper 80s, as well as lower 90s out west. And here's how that seven-day forecast shapes up. As you can see, there are very few rain threats in that seven-day forecast. Minor rain threats for the day on Thursday, as well as Friday and Saturday. But it doesn't really look at this point like it's beneficial rain by any means. Maybe yeah. a few one hundredths of an inch. But So it's definitely not going to put a dent in that drought situation. So we're probably going to say for the next drought monitor come next Thursday, be looking at more territories in exceptional drought. So not any good news on the horizon. No, the rain, but not as much as we need. We yeah. need a real just downpour at this yeah, point. Yeah, we need a few weeks of sustained rain to actually put a dent in the deficit that we're running. Hopefully it comes on the horizon. Yep. All right, thanks, Peter. Yep.